beating Etorito 2-1 after extra time. So there's a little bit of possible, uh, you know, chance for revenge for Etorito. Two previous world champions is the sharper to start the day. Still is early here in London, England. Not even midday just yet. So we'll see who starts off the brighter. Yeah, what an incredible game to start here. Etorito, last year's world champion versus Guiafera, the champion before that, Azubamiang tries an early header towards goal and it is Etorito who starts on the front foot. He generally, if he is successful, starts very brightly, doesn't he? Yeah, Etorito kicking in the Arsenal home kit from left to right, actually fielding a more conventional 4-4-2 with a diamond instead of the uh, the usual 4-3-3. We often see the 4-3-3 the used in Pez League with that sort of straight line of midfield, but the reigning world champ, as he did back in the WESG tournament where he was victorious, back in March fielding that classic 4-4-2. So, of course, both teams, uh, both players, should I say, choosing the Arsenal team. And due to stat balancing, it tends to be a favourite uh, one to use, Harry. Any reason for that? Well, obviously, if you've been watching Peslik throughout the entire year, you've known this is the team to use purely because of the overall height they have. The average height of the team is very big. Obviously, you have a Bamiang up front as well. He's a key man. Out towards Danny Welbeck on the left-hand side. The first chance for Guiafera to flex his muscles as Koscielny makes a real hash of the clearance in towards Danny Welbeck. Mm. It's whisked across the face. First chance for Guiafera, the Brazilian, and uh, it's a bit of a weak finish in the end, Harry. Yeah, maybe could have looked for a, a teammate there. He did have... That was a Bamiang there, just a... Betwixt th and between, wasn't it? Just past the front post. Maybe could have tried to find him, but within the first ten minutes, we've had a chance early on for Etorito and a chance early on for... A, for Guifera, so yep. we're going to have to see as who's going to be the one to take the first chance. Yeah, as we expected, a very evenly balanced game so far. Hard to pick a winner. As we said, the panel between us and the studio were very, very split. I think it went 3-2 to two in favour of Eserito, and that goes to show the level of these two players as Guiafera bursts away with Ubamiang. Chance, and he's hit the underside of the crossbar and away to safety and a real let-off for the reigning champion rattles the crossbar and as you said Adam that is a bit of a let off I want to see a little bit more work defensively I think that might just be where this game is decided between these two top level Pez competitors who has the more stout defense who's going to be making that first tackle and trying to shut down the attacks of the opposition as early as possible yeah well 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 if people were watching thinking that Etorito was gonna have a plain sail towards the knockout stages you're very much mistaken. He's in, as the guys in the studio said, a group of death alongside Maya Gekka and uh, Alamao as well. And they are four incredible players in PES 2019 as Mikaterin bursts away and it is Etorito and now he's hit the woodwork. What an unbelievable start to the PES League World Final 1v1s, Harry. Mikatarian hits the post and I think it was the right thing to do there to go for the shot, Adam has he has a chance, he's shut down by Koscielny. Good defensive work there actually from Guifera to mark the man over in the middle, force the shot out of Mkhitaryan, and now he's coming along with Iwobi and Mkhitaryan himself, but he's shut down early. So this is a, an interesting, intriguing affair. 20 minutes gone and both players looking very lively. Yeah, halfway through the first half, both players with a huge chance to take the lead here in the first game of the day. Both unfortunately denied by the woodwork as Mkhitaryan plays it back towards Lacazette. Now down the line towards Mkhitaryan again, but uh, Kolasinac steals in to take possession back for the Brazilian Guiafera, the 2017 world champion. Now out towards Danny Welbeck again comes the man who qualified through the Americas region in towards Ubamiang, blocked by Koscielny. Now Maitland Niles tries an effort, a stunning stop, one handed by Pinacek, but it's still in the danger area. And Guiafera takes the lead inside the opening half an hour, and it's first blood to the Americas. It's Ubamiang who scores it, and I'll tell you what, he'll be relieved because as you see, Maitland Niles here with the ball just almost snatches at a shot. He did have Ubamiang open then. Eventually, Eventually, does get Bamiang. We in are just hearing. Box. We're hearing from the guys behind the scenes that, unfortunately, the graphic on your screen is incorrect, and we do actually have uh, Etorito 
taking the lead here. So apologies for the guys at home. But nevertheless, we've had the drama. And uh, it is Etorito, the Italian, who has taken the lead. So the 2019 champion is, uh, sorry, 2018 champion, it's even thrown me, has taken the lead here as Mkhitaryan now uh, won back by Guendozi and uh, a chance for Guiaferra to mount another attack. So Etorito started brilliantly, hitting the underside of the crossbar, then Guiaferra hit the post and uh, back down the other end it is Etorito who has now taken the lead. Another chance here for Guiaferra though, as Lacazette goes in on his left foot, blocked wide of the target. It's really, I mean, it's really open first game, isn't it, Harry? Yeah, it is. Both players having great chances and apologies to those at home who may have been a little bit confused. We have fixed the graphic now and, and confused even us, Adam, here in the commentary booth, but it doesn't matter. I mean, obviously it matters to Etorito drawing first blood and getting that first goal, but not really. taking anything away from what we've seen, though, Certainly from both not. players. Guifera had his chances as well, so I don't think we've seen the last of scoring in this game. 34 minutes on the clock. The young Italian, the world champion, with a first goal as it's headed away out towards Guendozi. Another chance here for Guifera to mount. Another attack as Hector Bellerin twists and turns, tries to find Mkhitaryan, finally manages to squeeze it through as he's hassled and harried by uh, Aubameyang. And now he finds Maitland-Niles and Etorito comes again here, playing that wonderful, quick, free-flowing football we know and love from the man from Italy as Mkhitaryan now finds Willock and Willock plays it back to Mkhitaryan. Wonderful return play, though, from Guiaferra in towards Lacazette. And we've got an equalising goal for Guiaferra, but... We've got more controversy, Harry, because the offside flag has been raised. Let's see how tight this decision is. Lacazette is incensed at the decision. He thought he was on, but no. Almost a yard offside. Great call by the linesman. And the 2017 world champion is going to have to wait once more to get a goal. Don't forget also the 2016 Brazilian champion and even was a world runner-up back in 2016 as well. So this man has winning pedigree. He'll be wanting to try to force the conversation away from Etorito and stop people talking about him because this young man, just 19 of years of age, is certainly up there on the same level as Etorito. Indeed, as Mkhitaryan goes down the right-hand side, chance to whip it in towards Iwobi. Iwobi plays it back towards Aubameyang, but cleared away only as far as uh, Willock. Chance to counter-attack here for Guiaferra, if people at home were watching, if you guys were thinking it was going to be a, a cagey affair to start between the two former world champions, you were very much mistaken. 1-0, Harry only tells one side of the story. Yes, it does. And again, some confusion. We thought it was Guiaferra who scored first, but Etorito goes in with the lead, and we also thought that it was Etorito fielding that 4-4-2 as he liked to do with the diamond back at WESG he utilized it a couple of times it was actually Guifera who now as you can see on the screens has edited that back to the more conventional 4-3-3 so we'll see how he gets on obviously when you have just the two men up front it can leave you a little bit exposed in the middle of the pitch at the midfield position because you are often trying to look to get it wide and spreading the pitch so we'll see if he has more success down the middle yeah changes at half time there harry do you, do you feel it's a little bit too early to make those changes are you surprised by that i think it's the right thing to do i feel like when you are playing against an opponent like Etorito, who is so well versed in that 4-3-3 formation you almost want to match it like for like Iwobi finds Zubamiang now back towards mikaterin again it almost breaks down but one back given away again it's got a little bit scrappy inside the opening five minutes of the second half as Hector Bellerin joins the attack on this right-hand side. The dummy cross now finds Mkhitaryan again. The one-two doesn't come off as Socrates clears up towards Iwobi and now Guiaferra can uh, mount another attack through Mkhitaryan. Now Lacazette given away again. One back, it's really chance here through to Aubameyang. Left foot shot, it's wide of the target. And how many more opportunities will he get, Harry? Because that was a huge one. Absolutely it was, it's Lacazette who just pokes it through to Aubameyang and left-footed shot just dragged wide. That's, that's a missed opportunity and for me, Guifera honestly has looked a, a little bit better defensively despite being down one goal. Torito just before tried, almost had a similar position with the give and go and it was 
well watched, really, by Ufera, and if he gets a goal back, I, I don't see him conceding again. Eterito is going to have to prove me wrong, I think. Well, uh, we all know that when Eterito gets the bit between his teeth and gets that early goal advantage, he, he nine times, probably 9.9 .9 times out of 10, he will go on to take all three points. But remember, he is up against a formidable opponent, so do not write off Guiaferra just yet, especially when there's only one goal in it as Danny Welbeck bursts down this right-hand side for the Brazilian. And now twists and turns, lovely footwork again there. Chance to play it inside, possibly. Oh, what a wonderful run it is from Danny Welbeck. Now finds Mikatown, just can't quite squeeze it through. Back to him, Harry. That was a, another chance as uh, Etorito's defence almost opened up there. Yeah, more changes coming in now from both sides. It was a little bit better, though, for me, defensively from Etorito. We saw good tackle come in from Koscielny just to force this throw in that's going to resume after the break but now we're going to see some personnel changes very similar formations between the two Harry do you think Guiaferra needs to possibly tweak that a little bit to because they're, they're almost a bit stalemated at the moment aren't they yeah you could you could argue that I suppose but they did have different formations in the first half and it didn't go his favor so clearly was maybe trying to exploit something in the game plan before the game figured out it wasn't working so it's almost going to a plan B chance to counter again for Etorito, the Italian, as Nketiah now finds Lacazette, Lacazette to Aubameyang, of course, Etorito qualifying through the season one regional finals it's a in bit Europe. Rushed, though, isn't it, that attack from Etorito, very uncharacteristic, doesn't look like he's as sharp as he usually is, we'd like to see a little bit more concise passing from the world champion. Yeah, Etorito's uh, route to the finals in the uh, offline tournaments was uh, unblemished, as he won all games, including a 4-0 victory in the final against Venom, who is also in the competition, of course, qualifying second in that regional final. Uh, Guiaferro, on the other hand, did actually lose his final against Alison Black uh, by three goals to two, who is also in the competition. So possibly a bit of uh, a bit of a rivalry emerging there if Guiaferro was to meet him in the knockout stages. As Danny Welbeck, chance to break through here for Guiaferro again. He's starting to build a lot of possession and territory, but again, Etorito, you know, it's pretty solid. Yeah, pretty solid, but similarly, as we see a chance here, though, for Guerrero snuffed out by Etorito. For me, he's just, uh, he's just rushing it a little bit. It's lacking that bit of class in the, in the final third, that last polish, that last little bit of bit of class that we often see from the world champion that's made him so formidable in pairs right now has a one goal lead that's the important thing but has had chances in build-up play where had he picked a better option maybe played a little bit more concisely could have gotten more goals 15 minutes remaining here for Etorito to cling on to take all three points as Guiaferra the siege mentality starting to build as Eterito drops deeper and deeper and deeper. Can the Brazilian unpick that lock right at the death here to claim what could possibly be such a crucial point as Inketia tries to find Danny Welbeck again? The door is firmly slammed shut. And Eterito chance to counter now. Chance for 2 0, which would surely see him take all three points as Lacazette plays it through to Inketia. Back to Aubameyang. It's Lacazette for the win. What a finish from Eterito and the world champion from 2018 is here and he's back from yesterday with a bang. Well, I was so critical of Eterito. His build-up play when Guifera had men back was, for me, a little bit disappointing, but you cannot allow him a counter-attack like this. He works it so well. It's a 4v3 at the back, theoretically. Guifera should be on as even at this point, but Eterito uses first-time tick attacker passing to find the open man, and it's just a beautiful first time back heel from Aubameyang feeding the Frenchman Lacazette, and that's that's two 0 now. That is the game, well and truly done. And you maybe feel like that's what Eterito was playing for, just survive, like you said, that siege mentality, survive the onslaught of attacks coming from the Brazilian and. It's paid dividends, and now he is up 2-0. Yeah, still eight minutes remaining, of course, and we have seen it swing in the Pez League before. You'd have to say, though, Eterito firmly with one foot on those three points, or one leg on those three points, should I say, as Kolasinac has the chance to play it back to the goalkeeper, and Paul and the guys in the studio, of course, did say beforehand that it was 
Uh, a very, very hard one to call. And, uh, and of course, Eterito had such a, a miserable day yesterday. How would he respond? Well, respond brilliantly he has as uh, Aubameyang finds Maitland-Niles. Now, chance to build another attack here for the Brazilian. Danny Welbeck can't quite get on it. And we've seen this time and time again, Harry, once these great players take the lead, they are so clinical and ruthless on the counter-attack. It's almost... It gets to a point, it's so difficult to come back. Yeah, still a little bit sloppy for my Lion King and, and Eterito, if he wants to beat the likes of Alamal, who still waits for him in this group, he's going to have to be a bit more a bit more sharp on his passes. This is a bit better now, has Willock coming through. Iwobi, chance to play it through to Willock again, back to Iwobi. It's behind uh, Iwobi, though, but still they have possession, and it is just one minute of added on time, and Eterito has the chance to make it three with Willock, and this is some performance from the reigning world champion. It's finished here in the opening game, the opening uh, game for Eterito as well here, and it's finished by two goals to nil, and Eterito, well, we're going to run out of words for him today, but what a start, Harry.